Rubbish now. Which one is the boss? The boss. Nah, they don't come. Which will come again now? On Johnson Wally. On Street. Confiscate the money, lock the whole place out. No one goes in or out. Hey, mama, pay for, share for, go go go, go go le, mama eko. Don't sit up. You know mama will draw. Schoolboy, I love the fact that you have eyes everywhere. But you man bear with you, kill on by le ru. I wonder. Eh, kill on my share. Why didn't you just call me? Hey, my baby. Hey boys. Mommy. Uh, How many years have we been together? Immediately back I will be with you until you want to finish this. I know some. Eh? I shouldn't have to be coming here to deal with petty, petty things. Eh? Kilo mm. day. My darling, oh, you've arrived. Oh, fantastic. How's my little munchkin? Oh, good. Oh, stop it. The least I could do was buy you a ticket to come visit me. Besides, I needed to see my baby. Oh, OK, I know you must be tired. Eh? Just go home. Grace will take care of you. Eh? And I'll be there soon. I'm a little tied up at work. All right, sweetie. See you soon. When did we start smoking in the lab? Hmm? I've told you guys many times, smoking is bad for your health. Happy weekend, guys. Mommy, thank you. Swale! Happy weekend! Bobo Club! Bobo Club! Shabo! Mama, police are blocking the jetty. They are blocked everywhere. You know what to do.
you? I'm good. I didn't know you were in the area. Uh, yes, I am. I come here once every month to support these unfortunate but strong women. Hmm? Brave of you to come out here. Ah. No offense, but this is no place for people like you. Hmm. Looks can be rather deceiving, Inspector. Renowned philanthropist, business icon, mm. of course. But I must say, Miss Williams, you are a really good person. I wish there were more people like you. Ah. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Inspector. A little help? Yes. Have a good one, Inspector. And you. Have a good day. The Navy got you calm down. I'm aware you did not see, not see. You're like, I won't, you boo. Stop right there! No time. Hit him, Mushi. Wait up for you! Wait up, Dina! Ah! Wait up! Okay, we don't know. I beg, I won't buy cough syrup for small, small children. What is that? Confirm. Important. Wait, say, Apu. I beg, I don't want this one. You get for lesser price. What I want to? Ah, I beg, go. Now, the one of lesser price I want. Which one you want? The one of lesser price. This one to two cost. 
400 naira. Mm. What's your phone? Mm. Don't be 250. Ah, what about 250? Ah, ah. 200. Ah. Okay, I'll tell you naira I get to. Tell you naira give me from for house. What about money? Take. I don't get to go. I'll go use and collect something for outside. Baby, madam, don't worry you say, make you only the buy drug for island pharmacy. Eh? Grace? I beg, I beg, make a hear word. I don't say island people that six is the cost. This drug I for buying for island, 3,000 naira. How much you buying for you? 300 naira. Grace, I know one will allow. I know one madam will allow. Take. Wait. Take you. Wait with this. Take your share. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Grace, Grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you follow for consider like don't get this grace. They insult me. <laughs> no, I, I just agree to you. I beg, I beg, I beg, mate. Schoolboy. I'm here to help you. These are your call records. And it shows right there that you made 22 calls to a certain Mama T. Now. Our sources tell us that the person who runs the drug counterfeiting gang is also called Mamati. <laughs> so can you tell me who Mamati is? I don't tell you, see, I don't know. I, I don't know the Mamati. Who is here? God, Mamati Babu. I don't work for anybody, Mamati Babu. Nobody asked you if you work for anybody. All I'm asking is who Mamati is. Or you want to sit on an electric chair, Abby? and maybe two shots will send signals back into your brain. Oh, God. I tell me who Mama T is. You make the call. We see that call. Call where they go. Ah. We make this call. We this call. Who make this call on the phone? Mama T will be on your body. Barista Abigail. Good afternoon, officer. It's a break up now. Good afternoon. I'm here with respect to a young man that was arrested earlier today. Uh, uh, Mustafa Aina. I believe you call him schoolboy. I distrust this now. I guess Mr. Okon is in charge of the case. You know just saying tear it same for me. Sir, Barista Abigail. Let me guess, she's here to bail another criminal. Very good, sir. My client. Clients. Hello, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Fine, fine, thank you. And you? Oh, yes, he's here. <laughs> yes. Hello, DPO, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Free the boy. Sir? Just do it. Okay, sir. Oh. Go be that boy. Go be the boy, come on. Very star. That's it for the guests. for fuel. Uh, no fuel anywhere at all. That's fine, but just make it fast. Uh, uh, I will try my best, but I'm not promising. Fine, just take Junior with you. Okay. Hello? Oh, Abigail. Right. He didn't talk, right? Good. 
Send him over to me. Mm. My grandbaby, where is my grandbaby? You know, put her to sleep for what reason? You know, it's so good <laughs> to see you, darling. Oh, oh my Hey, Poo Poo. Oh, come here. Poo, look at me, how's she doing? She's been coughing in the plane. I don't worry when we arrive. Eh? We could Hmm? Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, calm down. I gave her cough syrup. She's better now. I was trying to put her to sleep when you came. Put her to sleep, don't get me. She won't see her grand uh, grandmama. Eh? All those miles. Oh, it's so good to see you, honey. Well, Grace, that have you eaten? Yes, you? Uh, Grace! Grace, come and help me prepare that special fish pepper soup for my children. Ah! Ma, eh? I just went to the tailor to pick up a gluten. Really? Uh, it's okay. I'll go upstairs, I'll change, and I'll make the pepper soup myself. Oh, okay. need you. Hold on, let me get a minute of... Oh, well, Mr. Eh? My third generation warm, even she a dog. <laughs> but why is she looking like this, eh? She, she must have been me. really sick, eh? Ah, Pelio Komi. Pele, Pele. Let me go and change and make this pepper soup. I know how much you love it. Abi, eh? bring my bag in. Ah, Abi, why are you standing there? Throw me your mom into a juicy bed for I don't get it. Another one in me. Wait. Where did you get this medication? I don't know. Grace and the driver went to get it. Grace and the driver. Where's Grace? Where's Grace? Where's Grace? Grace! Grace! Where did you get this medication from? Where did you get it from? It's okay. It's okay. I'll call the doctor. Oh, God, my, my phone! My, let me get my phone! Get out of my way! Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry! sorry. Two children have died, and 12 are still in critical condition. In this hospital alone? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've gotten more calls. Condition. <laughs> We've got more calls around the city. Yeah, this, is, this is really bad. Very bad, seriously. This is very bad. Is William? There's a strong poison in your home. I was looking everywhere for you. We've been searching. We couldn't find you. I tried calling you several times. That's when I realized you didn't take your phone. I was so scared. I know. I know. I'm scared. I know. I'm scared, Mom. <laughs> Can you call the doctor. It's on its way. This place can't give you the... The doctor yes. says she's critical. I know. Look, I'm gonna get her the best treatment money can buy. Okay. Please call me, right? Mama T, that golden way schoolboy bring now, now dark season. I want to say no to Bill. I foresee at least make we no use them for children cough medicine. Hmm. Cletus. Mama. Why you become panicking? No, tell me now. Why you become pastor? No, tell me. 
So you want me to waste money? Ah, uh, no, mama. Eh, uh, but you know now, say that children medicine, they move market. Last, last, they begin go sleep, you allow your mama rest. Eh? But mama... Use them. Play to... Use them like that. Oh. can be deceiving, Miss Williams. You know, I have spent the last one and a half years tracking a counterfeiting gang, targeting low-income areas in Lagos. And in all this time, one name keeps popping up. I must have made 20, maybe 30 arrests. And not one of these boys stayed. They all had to go thanks to orders from above. Ah. Yes. <laughs> and I had nothing up until uh, this afternoon when I picked up Mustafa, who I'm sure you know. Yes. I found out he made a number of calls to one particular number, saved on his phone as a Mama T. So I have one question for you. Why is Mama T's number ringing in your bag? fool to think that you will spend one day in jail. But how do you sleep at night knowing that you manufacture drugs that kill thousands of children? Well, actually. But let me ask you something, Inspector. Yeah. When a crocodile eats a bird's egg, do you think it goes home to cry? When I die, Inspector, let God be the judge. But you? Mm -mm. <laughs> you can't hold me. 
just this morning, two children died right here in this hospital. God knows how many more all across the city. Your hands are, are soaked with the blood of the innocent. Tell me, what kind of person are you? What I do, Inspector, is above your pay grade. Way above your pay grade. And frankly, you're wasting my time. Mom? Um, the difference between drug counterfeiters and uh, pirates. Well, the drug counterfeiters, uh, unfortunately, will kill someone pretty much instantly. Um, I think pirates are killing a whole generation of creators uh, slowly. Um, it's, it's a menace. It's a cancer in society. Um, piracy has taking food from the table of so many creatives. So our first um, brush with pirates happened on Wedding Party 1. One of the things that we found out about a week after the film came out was that there was a production copy that was floating around via Google Drives. So people were sharing Google Drive links online um, about the film. There was, we tried to stop it, but there was nothing we could do. The cap for a Nigerian film at the Nigerian box office is $2 million, and that was done by wedding party. Yet, 5 to $6 million is estimated to have been lost to piracy for the same film. Nigeria has a population of over 190 million, and a lot of people are exploiting this population to dump pirated and counterfeit items into the country. They are right there on the streets. They are right there hawking our pirated films on the streets in plain sight and nothing gets done. The custom service as a responsible service or as a responsible agency is doing everything possible to ensure that this thing does not happen or those that are involved in that are apprehended and the goods are seized. A good number of people on the streets don't really understand the dangers of intellectual property rights as long as the price is good. You know, they tend to go for the cheaper ones, or even the officers themselves, a good number of film of officers, don't really understand what uh, dangers it portends and why customs should even be involved in it. There's a corruption in the private sector that promotes the alternate production of known brands by folks who do not have the right to, um, to those brands. The fact that these counterfeiters don't really have boundaries, they go as far as counterfeiting even baby formulas. I'm a mother of two lovely girls and 
These are children that have to depend on formulas and other baby foods to grow. And I worry that sometimes if they have to eat the wrong ones, the dangers that it could pose for them could be worse than even the uh, deficiency from getting the right kinds of food. My stepmother was diagnosed to have a renal kidney problem and we believe maybe she took SPED or counterfeit medicine and at the end they had to do even transplants. We are addressing the copyright uh, system from a more holistic standpoint, looking at the law, the business, and the technology that surrounds uh, copyright and the industries uh, associated with it. Almost all Nollywood films that are made in the formal sector license their music, license the imagery, because they know that they're at risk of copyright infringement. So it has helped sanitize the broader formal sector for Nollywood and for music, but it hasn't yet translated to the um, informal sector because of the difficulty of enforcement of those rights. There needs to be a little bit of a reorientation in Nigeria about the importance of intellectual property because people wouldn't, um, you wouldn't move into a house and start living there without paying rent. You wouldn't you know, set up your office in a building that you have no legal right to use. But somehow when it comes to intellectual property, our people sometimes don't make the same connection. There are laws, but the biggest issue we have is enforcement. The World Customs Organization, the WCO, has really given us a platform for all customs administrations to relate and uh, fight the common enemy. And we also have what they call the World Trade Organization, which Nigeria has also acceded to. We have, uh, we share information sometimes with the INTACO and other important agencies. And over time, countries, some countries have also volunteered to help uh, our officers and uh, on uh, fighting and enforcement of intellectual property. U.S. Department of Justice has been very magnificent in this regard. Basically, we've had an uh, interesting um, relationship with some of these international agencies, but there's always room to do more. It is important that uh, people who engage in counterfeiting lose everything um, that they uh, uh, gained for their conduct and in addition lose the entire enterprise um, that they used for counterfeiting. We will set up deterrent again, we will find big, because if you don't set up a deterrent that will make people not to do it again, they will keep doing it. The company that we found counterfeiting will never do it again because they, it hurts their pockets, it hurts their image, and that is all that you need to set up deterrent. I think the time is now to, to um, come together and let's fight this menace.